So this week, uh, we're studying leadership, biblical leadership. Now, there's two uh, phrases we'll hear a lot about leadership. Uh, one is, it's, it's good to be the king, right? If kings being leaders, it's good to be the king. It's good to be the king, right? Uh, the other one you'll hear is, uh, heavy is the head that wears the crown. So, so which one is it? Is it good to be the king or is heavy is the head that wears the crown? Like a lot of things in life, it, it depends, right? It depends on our focus. And if your focus is yourself, um, I guess it would be good to be the king. I don't know. Uh, if, if, if our focus is on others, I, I, I believe sometimes heavy is the head that wears the crown. So we're going to try to focus on uh, what kind of leadership style did Jesus have. And there's some verses that give us clues. One of them is going to sound really familiar to us, even if we're not that familiar with the Bible. It's in the book of Luke, uh, chapter 6, verse 31. And he says, do to others as you'd have them do to you. Right? This became known as the golden rule. So others focus. So this doesn't surprise us that Jesus became others focused. And, and one of uh, his more famous acts of what became known as servant leadership, Jesus chose to wash the feet of, of his disciples, something that was set aside for servants to do. He did to show that we are our servants. We serve others. And sometimes if we're leading uh, our, our household, it might mean um, missing an event we wanted to go to because we have to, to help our kid with, with homework or take them to a, to a practice. If, you, if, you're, if you're leading a small group, it might be checking in on, on one of your people in your group and life's happening to them and you're going to set aside some time uh, for them, for the others. It might be if you uh, run a business and you're leading a business a good friend of mine uh, had a startup business once, and uh, money was tight, and I asked him, How, how's that going? He goes, well, on Fridays, i got to pay my employees because they worked. So I cut them checks on Fridays, and on Saturdays, I come in and clean the bathrooms because uh, I, I had to cut that cost, right? Yay. Yay leadership, right? But something that I got confused on uh, for the longest was servant leadership does not always mean making the other people happy. It, 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 means, it means loving them. I, I, I remember when um, I was in high school, I, I, I found the ability to grow facial hair, and I was so, so proud of that. I, I had this little mustache, which to me looked so big, I thought I looked just like, like Magnum P.I., I am like, oh, that is definitely Magnum P.I., uh, but no. I looked more like Greg Brady from the Grady Bunch that ate an Oreo cookie or something, had a little something on his lip. I did not look good, and I remember one of my friend's dads uh, coming up to me. <laughs> he goes, Kyle, you know, I love you. You should shave that off. You're going to regret that. And I didn't listen to him. I wish I would have, but I am so thankful that this was before the Internet and before digital cameras. There's very little proof of this. So I kind of maybe did look like Magnum P.I. I don't know. But there's a saying in leadership that says, if you want to make people happy, sell ice cream. Don't be a leader. Because as a leader, we not only serve people, but we have to serve. And sometimes that means telling them a hard truth. At Sun Valley, we say, love first, lead second, but always do both. And sometimes that love comes in the form of what's called tough love. Right? And, and no one wants to be called up by a friend and said, hey, you know I love you, but we need to talk. But that is what real friends would do. They care more about your, your future than your, your feelings. I definitely wish I would have shaved off that mustache. That's just a minor thing. But sometimes we're doing things that are so stupid, and we need love in our life, and that's going to come from people leading us. Leadership, by its definition, is out front, and it can be a lonely place. So heavy, heavy is the head that wears the crown, but Jesus modeled this perfectly. How to love and lead, 
and it is quite rewarding regardless what our our areas we're leading in uh, it can be hard but very rewarding let's lift this up in, in in prayer our heavenly father we thank you we thank you for your servant leadership that you sacrificed all for us and showed us how to love others lord we we pray for courage to do that we also pray for courage to love others when it's when it's not so easy when we have to tell them the truth in love so lord we thank you for for your examples that you've put throughout all the scriptures that we can follow how you led perfectly in all circumstances and lord we pray for wisdom on seeing that and the courage to do it well we thank you for the people that you've put us entrusted to lead and we ask that you guide us in those areas we lift this up in the name of jesus christ amen thanks guys <laughs>